Okay, so here's uh, an example from a publication from Skip Walker's group where they looked at the Arctic tundra in Alaska and they have three climatic zones. So subzone C right along the Arctic Ocean is the coldest climatic zone. And that zone consistently has the lowest summer peak NDVI. And subzone E in the foothills of the Brooks Range is a warmest Arctic zone. And that consistently has the highest NDVI throughout this time series. And if we look at the linear trend in peak summer NDVI, for each subzone, the linear trend is increasing NDVI from the 1980s to 2001. So for each of these Arctic subzones, we have a greening trend or increasing peak summer NDVI over time. So here's an example where we're looking at climate stations in the Arctic. Barrow, Kaparik, and Umiat. And we see the same relationship. So we have a buffer around each climate station. So the coldest climate station is Barrow, and it consistently has the lower maximum summer NDVI. And the warmest climate station, Umiat, consistently has the highest summer NDVI. And then we have a linear relationship between peak summer NDVI and the previous summer's warmth index from each climate station.